It's the 12th of July 2024 and last night I was in agony again and this morning with this persistent burning caused by energy weapons by what I've got to be suspicious of by the back of St. Thomas Cross um, at Eastville in Yeovil, Somerset. Now this burning is that intense that has made me ill this morning. The last time it was this bad I had to go to my dad's and stay there and when I returned from my dad's after staying there for about a month or six weeks I was accused of rape in that area when it wasn't because of that reason. The reason I went there is because I was being burnt by energy weapons. We were hitting 111 gigahertz if that's the right um, thing G Z H or GH said which it reads on the radiation detector the one that's broken when I came back it was reading 47 gigahertz if that's what it means and then it sort of eventually went down to 21.3 gigahertz and I managed to stay at my place but uh, even at that level it's causing intense burning but when it reached 111 gigahertz whatever that means the pain was that intense in just 10 minutes that I couldn't stay in my flat and I had to call 111 eventually I had to, to get my dad to pick me up um, the day my dad picked me up was the same day there was fuel tipped in the communal garden so the burning had already happened seven days roughly before that time but it didn't get intense until about four days before my dad picked me up and this went on for an hour and a half uh, we've actually reached that level again so in the last week this burning has got much more intense again and obviously I've had to go out early to get away from it because it's making me really ill it's got a feeling like you've got crushing pain inside your head uh, you've got like cat claw scratch mark pains all across your body you're struggling to breathe you're out of breath um, it feels like something's trying to uh, 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 you know inside your lungs and it's, it's like something that's dr driving you you know sort of you, f you feel like you want to faint you're feeling dizzy um, you've got many different problems like that and there's nothing I can do about it so anyway initially there's loud bikes to erections waking up time to erections uh, while shaving and washing my face um, and then we have a couple of threats anything from breaking in to making your life a misery to saying you've got to pay the fucking price because you're a fucking rapist and stuff like that with stuff I've made up against me which is not true on sexuality and then obviously I'm accused of raping Sadie Dando which is not true anyway as far as going out is concerned it's smash him up bust his flat uh, more loud bikes to erections breaking in fucking up said intense burning from possible energy weapons as I mentioned it keeps occurring uh, to a point where I have to leave my place he keeps walking past the play school said well that's not Im that's not possible to avoid because you have to go past the play school to get anywhere and if you go the long way around you have to pass a primary school to get anywhere if you go the other way around which I think is down Lyde Road I'm not sure if that's the right name of the road and then go to Sherborne Road in Yeovil then you're gonna put yourself out about three quarters of a mile to get around otherwise the only direct route to go into the town or to go anywhere is past a play school and I usually walk on the other side anyway um, so initially there's 19 cell calls in my direction that's cutting a long story short writing all this in brief a couple of bow whistles dribbling wet bow whistles a mighty van my, in my direction and then there's a 20 second cell call in my direction on the corner there's an electric scooter tied to smash into my legs to smash my legs up we have an FK van followed by a dad distribution lorry and a do you understand van I can't help the way that's coming out but you know that's the way they want to cause it to occur um, a sick white and black and blue car and then roughly 200 more 80 to 90 percent set up to every single car on the road with just a few here and there that are not rigged up in that pattern choked by catalytic converter set up they've tied the ripping you to pieces paper shredder van where he's taken the um, vote Lib Dems off of there now but it, d it did turn out that the Lib Dems did win the local election for Yeovil two CES vans, white sexual car, RT Keedwell lorry, police car, choked my more catalytic converter stench uh, there's a specific van name that offends my dad so I'm not going to say what the first name is 
um, but it says something in your man van. Um, there's a G. Uh, well, again, this is not a very good name, not to come in this order, but uh, G A Y E van. Um, yeah, it's not um, the best suggestion, but I can't help the way you know that the government or the elite or the creator god wants to set this up. Um, there's a yellow car, a white car, a grey, black, sick, or white, or whatever else. I can't remember what. I didn't write it all down. A brie van, white car, choked by catalytic converter stench, and a grey white car. Before I go into the rest of today's problems and all the other sheets, I just want to go back to the radiation problem or whatever's causing burning. So I've already mentioned the um, GHZ radiation detector. Um, which I don't no longer have because that one broke. Um, I have a nuclear radiation detector as well. Um, you've got zero, 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 point zero, or whatever, as um, the lowest radiation signal. So it's on average is zero, 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 one point four to zero, zero, zero. Point zero ninety two or something like that. So, when it comes to um, radiation, there is radiation, but it's not showing on high levels. However, I did not have the radiation detector back in the time period of when I had to stay at my dad's because of the intense burning, which is reoccurring at this minute in time and has been for the last three weeks. So, if it's Peter, neighbour that's doing it, or whether it's another neighbour that's doing it, or whether it's coming from St Thomas Cross neighbours across the back of my place I do not know but whatever is happening they've been accusing me of rape and they've been accusing me of trying to rape people in the area where my dad lives I don't know how they know where my dad lives but the problem is while they're trying to burn me to death with radiation or using energy weapons if that is the case and that's what's occurring then obviously they're gonna have to push me in that area because that's the only alternative place I can stay if this continues so when it comes to the EMF meter it's always flashing, it's always in the yellow and red flashing persistently 24 hours a day even with all the plugs and electrics switched off in my flat. Um, usually when the burning occurs and it's very bad it's usually stuck on red like a switched on light um, and that's on the K2 EMF meter. Um, since I've been back at my place, this issue hasn't been that bad until roughly um, June. It was around about the 9th of June I recall this increasing, but then since we come into July, this burning just goes intensely bad and it's not just for a couple of minutes or a couple of hours and stops, it's uh, persistent, it's being left on 24-7 and when I report it to the staff they're not doing absolutely nothing and when I see my psychiatrist doctor he's saying that all this burning is caused by schizophrenia when you know it's not. When I go outside to get some fresh air like I'm doing today because I'm going to have to stay out for quite a bit to avoid this. Um, you get pins and needles and you start to refresh and feel like uh, you're recovering every time you go out or even if you're sitting in another building this burning it seems to only be occurring at my place and it was the same with the eye problem that I had when I was living at Burnham on Sea but last night in particular that burning was twice as painful as it has been on other nights that I've been there and it's also causing things to explode like the mp3 player that exploded in the kitchen on the kitchen floor back in April and it's also causing the computer to smoke and also it's causing the um, icons to move about or the folders to open and close on my computer or laptop or whatever you want to call it as well which is reoccurring at this minute in time but it hasn't really been doing that since April which is in the early days of me coming back from staying at my dad's um, so yeah we got that problem and uh, I'll let you know what the rest of the issues are when it comes to today's problems or whatever with the rest of the sheets for what's to come. 
so we've had a grab a lorry, helio van, 50 plus more grey sick white cars. Oh, I have to move my foot aside to get around something, so they time an overhanging trailer to rip my legs off from behind. Uh, then there's a started car um, with a catalytic converter on it, uh, which smells like a vinegary type smell. Uh, Seagull says knife dead child abuser, knife him. Seagull says ha ha ha, no one left. Reward van, wheels van, 16 cell cores up me, sneezed up, then I'm coughed up, 4 cell cores up me, and 6 texts, mostly by one person's phone, coughed up, spit talking up me, wind direction up me by spit talkers and then a triple sneeze in my direction, another sneeze up me, a crow goes ha ha ha, timed to an erection, a bike is timed, and then a crow ha ha ha, get on public transport and there's 14 cell calls and uh, then there's a bike trying to an erection and then they're pissing about with the weather causing it to be sunny on a cloudy predicted day again. Just to recap on the um, CDs that got damaged from the um, signals in the air or radiation or energy weapons if it is that, these are ones that I've re-bought. Um, so I spent a load of money recently to rebuy them, uh, which was last year, 2023. So these are cryo chamber dark ambient CDs. Well, I decided to foil them up just to keep them safe from any energy weapons that are occurring, even though they weren't happening back at that time, just as a precaution. Well, whatever this device is, or radiation devices are, or ultraviolets or whatever, um, it goes straight through it, it's damaged all those CDs. So Peter Ritchie, if it is that neighbour, or one of the other neighbours, or one of the neighbours at St Thomas Cross, they've just cost me 900 quid in CDs that I've had to chuck away again. So I literally don't have any CDs at all now. All the CDs in my place are broken from energy weapons. Right, so the sneaky bastard's got me off that bus. So fart smells, bowl whistles, Sun Daily f uh, van. That says Sun Daily on the side of the van. Uh, white car, 50 minutes of blue skies and sexual sunshine for the 12th of July 2024. FedEx van, purple lorry, going into labour t-shirt by a pregnant teenage woman. Penis shoots up. Uh, about five minutes later, so I look like someone who sexually abused me as a child, tying to an erection. Some way tech van, uh, penis up, uh, loud bike, um, and bike to the next day. Train timed, uh, uh, sorry, a person gets off a train with a bike, tying to an erection, and then I sneezed up, black sexual car, spit talk hits my lips, Vickery's van, penis up, bike time, police car, S sick cunt, one day bust in his flat, said. Sexual car timed, 200 more cars waiting for the bus, 90% uh, action, a uh, light blue sexual bicycle tied to an erection, a bike tied to an erection, orange, red, white spit talk on my hair, flew on the bus um, as I get off the bus, bow whistles, red sexual car and more whistles. Right, uh, sneeze nearest to me, uh, spit cough hits my eye, spit flies in my face by uh, goofy type spit talker, uh, knife shaped um, van, Dorset Ways partnership, spit talking at me, 17 cell cores get on the, the uh, basically the bus I get off of, crystal clear van with spanners on it, FKG burn van, so it's like saying fucking burn, sweet sweet home uh, van, a car, sorry. Sick white, black and blue, sick white, grey sexual car, red, orange, grey, two grey, uh, gay, um, that's the G-A-Y version, started cars, spit talking in my face, Zimmer frame at me, Zimmer frame angled at me, spit talk hits in my face, uh, bic bicycle top, coughed at, shot he's Savan said when that's not my name, Tilly's van, bonus a bike timed, Abri van, roughly about 700 cars, maybe a few more than that, 90% set up to every single car, choked by catalytic converter stench, and uh, uh, photo fails due to Christ demanding sunshine of uh, sexual weather, uh, failing a picture I want to take, it's not the most important but obviously God doesn't want the picture of a soul street like basically. Right, so sex in the sun has been persistent, it's now 1pm in the afternoon and there hasn't been a single cloud cover since I left my place. Overhanging trailer to rip my legs off from behind. Overhanging trailer to rip my legs off in general, after that. Bonus motorbike timed. Next motorbike, everyone's a pedo up there said. Penis up two motorbikes. 200 cars, 
100% set up to every single car. Kings of the Trades van, Crook and Sons van, red white car, politician top, cheering van, spit spoofing at me, unhygienic talking, CJF van, um, Crow goes ha 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 several times in a deliberate way, coughed over, sneezed at by another person as well, three wheel bicycle my way, time to erection, grey sexual car with lights on, lots of red sick, Crook and Sons, gun looking car, bonus a motorbike, penis up to motorbike, sexual cars, FFS van, eh van, cell calls up me, bus stops, um, forgot to write that bit down, I've uh, forgotten what it is, uh, switched on van, that's what it says on the side of it, uh, penis up loud bike to erection, nine times loud, bike, red, white, cell call at me, sounds made to say child molester, seagull says no one left. Right, SK lugger van, which can suggest sick lugger. Seagull says, ha ha ha, no one left. Uh, Tilly van, penis shoots up some motorbike time straight after. Spit talking over me. Rings van, penis up some motorbikes. Wet cough, hits the back of my hand. Dumper truck at me. Spit talking over me. Bike, timed. White car, Zimmer frame angled at me. Uh, Justin Langford is a pair of it music. Then a Zimmer frame timed. Then angled and twisted at me. Spit talking hits my hair. Loads of black and blue sick white cars. Catalytic converter stench. Bonus a motorbike. There's a new uh, van name that I've not seen before. It says Mike's Hot. Um, obviously it's not making a suggestion as such. Obviously Mike is my father. But it says Mike's Hot. Um, the reason I left my place. Obviously I, tr I wonder whether they're trying to make another suggestion. But. I've been burning because of energy weapons and this is the reason I'm at the place I'm at today because I've had to avoid my place due to this burning and I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to be making it back to my place tonight because I'm actually in pain and I might have to just uh, relax where I am for the day and think of some other idea what to do but the likelihood is I should be able to make it back because um, I'm quite a way away you see I I've done a trip out on public transport so a van reverses on me at a path, backing at me. Seagull says, shag, gag. Uh, life's gone, said by Seagull, I think. So itchy bum home, obviously loud bike issue. Cell calls at me, another 15 cell calls at me, and 12 loud bikes, time to an erection. A sudden shooting penis, a 10 times loud, loud bike. Train covers hit over, more bikes, so same again, lose, bus pass, but eventually find it. More bikes, so... Uh, more bike issues, coughed over, there's a flu and sore throat on the bus, um, someone hums on the bus to us to apply to update a flu, uh, cross due to sweeping dust uh, off the full floor being uh, occurring, uh, sneezed at black and blue cars, uh, forced into a lady with a buggy, um, two sneezes at me, Seagull says stuff I can't mention, and something else as well, drains it, soaking wet, uh, due to hot sunny weather, uh, itchy asshole, so uh, bike from behind, uh, crow fuck you or whatever, and uh, saying you molested a specific name, I can't say name either, back goes catalytic converter set up while setting up a tent, I've had to buy a tent because I'm feeling very ill from burning, so it's not actually a camping trip that I'm doing, um, out of leisure, though I will turn it into a leisure trip obviously, but um, the point of this is because um, the burning is so intense um, I can't stay at my place. And the other problem we got is um, uh, I need a break from it because it could be dangerous, that's the problem you see. The intensity last night was extreme, I mean really extreme. Night, the burning I woke up with, whether it's caused or, or whatever, it was really, really bad and for safety reasons now and again you just have to stay away but can't go to my dad you see because my sleeping patterns are reverse end of the clock so they get up at uh, 6 a.m. something and sometimes I don't go to bed until that time early so it's, it's, it's not it's not convenient then I get headaches and I get my migraines and I get irritable and you know all that sort of thing so th this is why I've had to plan the, the camping trip as an alternative so I've got to let the staff know so that no one breaks in my place to try and steal my stuff 
though there is CCTV cameras and while they're in, in operation, it, someone to do that would be very stupid anyway, but um, I don't really have much at my place, but um, you know, there is sentimental value things if you get what I'm saying, so not worth much in money, but it's the, um, the other side, so you know, I'll leave it out on that section. Kofta, <coughs> bonus some more bike, more bikes, reversing catalytic converter at where the tent is, choke by catalyst, choking catalyst, black and blue, uh, drain covers it over, coughed over, bonus some more bike, fast mill on the bus, get off the bus, red bikes, uh, I mean, circle, cool. um, car starts next to me, um, reversing cars, Spit talk goes in my eye, foam rings up me, DX, 17 cell calls up me, more bikes to a stretch, white, car and DX van, and then DX van again after a motorbike. Child molester dead meat back, uh, said back goes uh, catalytic converter, torrential rainstorm for 6 minutes and sunshine again, rough people fuck up my plans to go for a walk, and I'm forced to turn around and come back. Shot dead, no one left, child molester said. Um, eight times loud, bike tying to a stretch. Sick shouted. Yeah, sick cunt. Punch him up, said. He's a child molester, said. Sick cunt, she's only 35. Start a car, back goes second car. Cell call at me, two more cell calls and eight cell calls at me. Two bikes, farted up. Sick said, penis up motorbike four times more. Um, rough people. At me, black, red, cell call, spit talk over me, cell call at me, bonus of motorbikes, 20 more roughly, and 200 cars, roughly 98 cents set up, apart from about 4 cars, I think it is, in that 200. Penis up, so loud bike, uh, to itchy bum holes, some motorbikes, knife him, timed, set, uh, knife him said, sorry, and time to a, an erection, sorry, motorbike revs, knife him, and time to an erection. Crow fuck, I can't say the word, seagull says sex, bonus of motorbike time. Seagull, ha ha ha, lost your life, you child abuser. Crow says, pervert Justin. Life, you dead Justin, no one left. Crow says, burn. Seagull says, loner. Ha ha ha. Right, this is the exciting page. Right, so, firstly, it's grey sexual car, coughed over. All this time breaking in music. Shot. Um, I've lost that. The setups were too heavy for me to state what I needed to stay back at the time, so I've got to do it now. I've just eaten my chips. Better to struggle eating them. I'll give you the story in a minute. It's a grey sexual car. Coughed over. And all this time, breaking music plays in a shop. It also has a track that comes on straight after saying burning, burning, burning. And it's uh, a female group. It's f modern music, modern rubbish. Anyway, not really many setups walking out of the shop, just a few cars, a couple of bikes to erections. When I go to the chip shop, uh, I get served and there's spit talking, so I have to put up with the spit talking initially. Uh, and then obviously when I move away, I move to the back. Two people walk in the chip shop, this woman goes, <laughs> a real hard sneeze like that. A real wet sneeze right in my face. Um, it gets better because the second person that walks in, when I try to move away, but I can't because the chip shop's pre pretty busy, means the next person has to do exactly the same, right in my face. So I can't get the water out to wash my face, because I'm in a situation where I'm waiting for the chips. So I would wait next to the door, let them go through and wait by the door. As I do that, some bloke decides to stand right fucking next to me, then he decides to fucking sneeze over me. He puts his hand in front of his mouth, but the spit from the um, cough, there's a cough type sneeze, lands on me and it gets better when I'm being served for the chips spit talking all over the chips and obviously she's not wearing a mask so this is why I have to be careful when I'm eating the sausage and chips that I bought right so the next problem is uh will you up so bike up me as I walk out the chip shop oh uh, I forgot about that there's four other bikes they just occurred with a flashing light before I walked out the chip shop um, then the motorbike tying to an erection with a light on, car with one light up, out at me, another bike tying to an erection, uh, same again, and then a the Zimmer frame timed at me only. The next sheet, 
Um, then sex car, Seagull says break your teeth. Knife you dead, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seagull says robbery busting in, ha ha ha. Choked by catalytic converter, set up. Um, then a car almost hits me to go onto the path before reversing back at me. A seagull says, ha ha ha, isn't anybody, and then saying being knifed, dead. Three cars and one van reverse at me on the camping site, so I rearrange my direction. Um, with a loud bike issue, um, and a loud bike issue timed. Black and blue, white, blue sexual, white. Crow says paedophile just. A bird sound as to say molested Sadie. Bird sound to say molested Sadie. Uh, being knifed. Blue sexual timed and dark green sexual timed. I've been lying on a rock for about um, 40 minutes because I've got a very bad headache. Um, but I've had to leave because uh, firstly penis shoots at mo motorbike revs Lisa Justin. Motorbike revs dead just child molester having a break in. Uh, Seven shot dead, blind him with Tron, molested Sadie, said, as I try to avoid a torrential rainstorm coming, um, which hasn't reached me at the moment. Um, apart from that, it's been sexual sunny weather, right through the whole day, apart from three rainstorms, and most of those rainstorms only lasted a few minutes, and two of those were torrential, but I managed to keep myself dry in the process of when they were passing. Right, so someone takes a photo of me because uh, they say uh, uh, they say this. No, I, I got him. Gonna get someone to shoot him. Said. Um, so a seagull says sex, but I can't say the name of the person that the seagull is telling me to have sex with. Uh, shoot you dead, fucking child molester. So, uh, by I can't remember if that's a threat or whether it's by a seagull. Seagull says ha ha ha. You fucked Amy Weston when I've never had sex with Amy Weston. Um, sick colour car. Pack the traffic on the road. Four times heavier than it's ever been before. On any visit or any camping trip I've done at the place I'm at at the moment. Right, uh, bonus on bike. There's no one left. Sick cunt. Raid his place. Right, so the government want to play. It's time to get busy. Murder, jazz, jazz, murder, jazz. But the government are fucked up. The government are screwed. The fucking government are absolutely fucking satanic, nasty, vicious, fucking ice axing, fucking satanic, blood curdling bastards. Right, so firstly, they need to curse a seagull to say child rapist. Staff's uh, stuff's gone. Can't go to the camping site where the tent is due to the negative behaviour. Um, then brain the shot dead. Just said, I don't know how this person knows me, this person hasn't got a fucking clue who I was, but he said my name's been chipped. Or oh, he's a fucking reptilian hybrid fucking race and wants to be fucking dead. Right, um, penis ups, a loud bike. I look like someone who sexually abused me as a child tied to an erection. Um, bow whistle, uh, sorry, bow whistles, smash you in child rapist, having a fucking break in said by someone I've never seen before. Robbery sick cunt having a fucking break in said and photo to taking a Mesa from someone's house, someone I've never seen before. Being shot dead. Weird cunt. Sick as fuck. P pedophile dead just said. Dead said. But yeah, I'm putting all fucking people, all fucking setups in my fucking direction. Someone signed watches me piss. That is uh, cursed as well, and then obviously that car is cursed at me. Right, it's a person to pick up the. Um, I'm choked by the catalyst, nothing I could do about it. But the person who saw me piss is being picked up in the car, that car that comes down with a boyfriend, with a rough boyfriend in the car, in the car basically. Take into account it's half past fucking ten at night, all this fucking shit's going on. The government are really fucking slamming it at me. Right, I've just discovered I've lost two pieces of paper which contain stuff that I've already mentioned and I'm not a very happy person about it. I can't find it and I don't want to go back and cause trouble by walking past so because it'll only cause rows because there's rows being mistaken identity and people start for no reason. If I go back in that direction it'll just cause more shit so I'm not very fucking happy with the creator god. Sexual slaughter bastard.
Right, so it's 4am in the morning. I didn't get a very good sleep. However, the people on the camping site were behaving very well, considering last time. But outside the camping site, or going wherever, it was threat upon threat, and it's been very, very nasty. Um, it appears to me that uh, the burning problem that's occurring at my place is likely to be caused. I can't guarantee this at this minute in time, but uh, the times it occurs and the type of burning that's occurring um, seems to be at times. Uh, so, so I just wanted to sort of test it while having a drink. So I was drinking earlier than usual and I went to bed earlier because I had a migraine. And I did notice that uh, while I was drinking, I was getting no burning. So it's not caused by the drinking. And also, the ease of the burning from where the burning was occurring when I was at my place is every single day, 24-7. And uh, this is the reason I had to uh, camp, because um, every now and again it gets overwhelming to a point where it's getting dangerous, to a point where you could end up in hospital, or you could end up in serious health issues, or even death. And it's come to that again. Uh, but obviously Peter Ritchie, if he is doing it, or if one of the other neighbours are doing it, they're not taking into account that this is this could take my life. But uh, whatever it is, whether it is being caused by him, or whether it's not being caused by him, whether it's being caused by someone else, or whether it's just something wrong with my body that's a, that's a serious concern, I do not know. But whatever it is, um, last night was that bad that has made me, it put me in a situation where I would, if, if I stayed there tonight, I would have either been in hospital or I'd be in a very serious life threatening way. This, this, this feeling was, this is it's like, I don't know what it is, but this is the worst as I've ever known it, even when I was staying at my dad's. But the problem is, as I mentioned, I can't stay at my dad's because he gets up at uh, the time I go to bed, basically, um, which is the reverse side of the clock. <coughs> And when that occurs, I end up getting temper changes, I end up getting more moody, more stroppy, um, and uh, I can get quite um, upset about it. And, uh, and it was also in that time period where I did that documentary which uh, the support worker moaned about, and where she wanted the home treatment team to come and visit me, to medicate me. Um, after I lost my temper in the middle of nowhere, shouting out to God and in that thunderstorm, at the late end of March, it might have been the 28th of March, I can't remember when it was, but it was in late March, as soon as I returned back from my dad's, when I was in a wrong sleeping pattern, and being in this wrong situation, and wrong whatever, it uh, goes against my natural time, or my body, body's own time defence, or whatever you want to call it, and uh, when you're violating your own body by changing your time to a site that you shouldn't be doing you know it's probably what did it but uh, there was a lot of other trouble as well mind in that time period and obviously the burning was the main cause the burning's been the cause of why I had to move to Yeovil but it was done in a different way it was sort of done with the eyes and even the burning that occurs at my place is affecting the eyes it's not, it is, but it's not the same type of uh, pain but it does affect the eyes um, either way I'll leave it there there's been quite a lot of uh, problems actually regarding this specific um, camping trip because it wasn't a plan to go into a camping trip but I fell ill that's the problem where the burning was so bad the previous night I went out and I fell ill and I felt like I wasn't going to be well enough to get back so um, I decided to purchase the tent and then I sat in the graveyard for a bit because I was feeling really ill and I was lying down in the graveyard even though that it was quite busy and people were walking about because the burning was causing a lot of trouble um, making me very very ill um, I mean I was ill last night and for it but throughout the day what happened is is whatever was pumping me being pumped through me or whatever or whether it's a natural body's cause, I do not know, but whatever it is, it did eventually start to go, and it started to get pins and needles as, a, as this burning was uh, going. It was like a refreshing sort of feeling, 
and obviously overnight camping has the burn has gone completely near enough um, you know you feel like you're definitely refreshed you're 80 percent better 70 percent better but whatever is whatever's caused it if it is being caused by something it takes a long time to go it doesn't go straight away it's like it's in your body and it can't get out of the system that fast um, so yeah I'm not very happy about it so um, obviously I had to buy a tent because I wasn't sure whether I was going to be well enough to go back come four o'clock to six o'clock I couldn't really do much and then obviously from that time I started to recover slightly and then obviously um, uh, it's also the worstest camping trip in this area that I've done I mean I've done many camping trips but they're getting worse by the year they're getting nastier and this is the worst one I've done down in this area that I'm at at the moment um, you're looking at um, 70 people starting on me 20 people that have photographed me most people mistaking me as Seven most of it's sexual, most of it's to knife you down, most of it to shoot you dead and most of it's to get, give you a load of cheek about it and to get put their fucking words at you in a way where they're digging at you in a far-fetched way in a way to get your fucking temper going because they want to say they're fucking right we're fucking right, we know what you've done, we want, we want you fucking dead and then fucking getting nasty and they're also accusing me of raping children that have the same name as people that rape me as a child and digging and making it fucking clear as you're paying for it and you're fucking being ripped to fucking pieces and whatever and that's what's pissed me off so um no I haven't enjoyed it um and it's definitely not a place that I'd come back to again but um when I came here in the past it was definitely a different atmosphere there was threats, there was trouble, but this time the threats went over a little bit more than what they did on previous times that I've come to this place or other places in fact. However, the September trip to uh, Barrow Sand Dunes, Burnham on Sea, and to King's Cliff, Cliff Woodland, you're looking at record breaking threats, you know, forever. And it's the worst this camping trip I did in the heat wave of 2023 because I couldn't stay at my place because it's 34 degrees Celsius in indoors overnight temperature and you had the windows open and it wasn't making any difference to the temperature but uh, obviously the council are not very quick to move people on the banding system so they seem to be more concentrated on single mothers that are under the age of 25 or teenage single mothers and uh, people that are in a relationship that are working um, or homeless but in a job but you have to be in a job of a certain type of job that pays a certain amount of money or you know all this sort of stuff so it's, it's very awkward to count on they always tend to do that I mean when it comes to an old granny don't need to uh, say a place without stairs because she can't get up the stairs or whatever that's not prioritized anymore a single mother as a teenager gets the highest priority out of everybody on the home finder thing um, but anyway let's just skip that at the moment so obviously I'm waiting for the 5 a.m. bus and then obviously I'm gonna to have to pay for this obviously I'm gonna take trips and I'm gonna go back and then obviously I'm gonna go to bed because I haven't had much sleep it was about two hours sleep that's all I've had however I haven't had any burning or any problems like that so whatever's causing it is likely to be caused deliberately and I'm not very happy about it but uh, there is nothing I can do about it um, you know it could be a sly way where Peter wants to actually try and commit murder on me but in a disguised way where he's doing it in that sort of way it could be many things it might be someone from the back that's doing it but whatever's causing it it does feel like it's coming from under the floor though the burning sensations coming under the floor so whether it's being beamed up from someone else I mean you've got Grace and you've got Shannon but what, there shouldn't be any reason I mean they, they do make mistake me as, as, as a Seven or Liam or whatever 
and they think I'm a guitarist and all the rest of it and they're threatening to you know destroy my life or whatever but I've showed ID that goes back to 1996 uh, sorry 1997 and obviously that's not taken into account either it's the original recoil you know a uh, McCoy sorry not not um, a copied piece you know it's the original whatever but uh, regardless to all that people in that building where I live have always mistaken me as Sven and even you know staff have not sort of been right with me in the early days of when I first moved out but um, you know that's that right, I'm gonna skip the first because of where I am and uh, that's part of last night's incidentally on the same sheet Seagull says shot their fruit gang. Right, sneezes and flu on the bus to start at 5.30 a.m. Uh, then the bus is packed completely, top to bottom, at 5.36 a.m. Um, cough types uh, sneezes, and then the second has to do that the nearest to me. Then there's another cough, which is the third nearest to does uh, No, the third cough hits me on the lips, so sorry. Uh, phlegm coughing. Um, more spit coughing uh, where I am Sunseeker van and Sunseeker lorry one specific person needs to sneeze 17 times initially who's not very well who's ill followed by uh, reaching 24 and then 26 sneezes by the time I get off the bus uh, black red car grey sexual car um, hard gush of wet sneeze uh, all over me nearly and two sneezes as I get off the bus in my direction and a car with a Welsh flag on it uh, waving on the uh, sort of side of the car um, the, the actual traffic on the road's dead um, but the people on the bus are packed um, so that's that Sunrise is at, uh, oh sorry, uh, I meant, yeah, sunrise is roughly half past six. Um, shot dead, said. That's Savannah liar, that's Savannah's knife in, said. Fucking knife and shouldn't be here. Seagull says, Grace, penis up loud bike. And now I've uh, returned into Yeovil. You've got the regular setups like black and blue sexual. We've had the first 300 vehicles to start with in the first five minutes. Right, we're looking at excessive setups. Um, so there's um, uh, basically um, green sexual car with one light out, loads of black and blue, sick white man with a gun picture on the side of it, on a van, CJ Cox van, uh, bike only, bike upright on car roof to erection, drain smashed over, tiny as a pass of drain cover, blue sexual car. Sexual car light on, and roughly another 200 cars on top of the 300 I mentioned, which is very heavy. I mean, it's only 7:30 a.m. and uh, it's record breaking actually um, for a Saturday for this time in the morning. Been back for less than five minutes. Burning. Right, so I've caught up on some sleep. So firstly your neighbour bangs Sadie, six salad just said, smash her in just car revs hit Justin, uh, Johnny Justin said, not very safe Justin said, smash her in Justin per and four hours of intense burning right across my whole body, as bad as what it was before I left to uh, get out of this situation for 20 hours, dying of burning, not very safe Justin said mental case just said right so her penis goes up and to cut a long story short they've tied uh, loads of loud bikes mostly eight times loud bikes tied to wank and, and come in into erections and impulses or whatever else <coughs> right also um, Peter's got Matty's uh, energy weapon said it wasn't Reese Trevor Lyon said or Trevor Lyon so Sam's bike said when that's nothing to do with me. Peter Bangs molested Sadie, busting his place, and that seems to be the regular repeated busting in 
banging that's occurring and has been cutting occurring about 200 times in the time period I've been awake since I've been back. Um, so smash him, bloody life's gone fucking psychopath said. Um, next motorbike I'm wanking, sack and saw Sam's bike again, a bush bike said again, fart smells and then obviously we're repeating scenario of bangs to say you molested Sadie, Justin, you're having a break in, I'm going to burn you to death with uh, energy weapons. So, um, yeah, I haven't been here for 20 hours and when I came back, apart from dropping my bags off, because um, obviously, as you already know, I had to camp out, um, which didn't really turn into a camping trip as such, because of the burning. It made me ill, too ill to go back. Where whatever's causing it but you can't do nothing about it these people are brainless stupid bastards so I'm in the um you know there's nothing I can do about it but uh, I'm gonna cut the recording there that gives you the um, idea of the last just over 24 hours so roughly um, what's it now it's 20, about 28 hours this recording from start to finish and then obviously there's gonna be a new one from today onwards Right, it's just to repeat, might as well say this just before I put a recording on the internet. Uh, just to repeat, Justin breaking him, Lester Sadie, dead meat, Justin, and just repeatedly banging in that sort of way.